2005, myself, Dr. Ronald Ziegler, who is the director of the Nibiru Cultural Center on the campus of the University of Maryland, and two undergraduate students, Hank Ralston and Raheem Dualdo, we all came together to start an organization based on brotherhood, fellowship, scholarship, as well as social activism. We decided to call that, that program, that organization, the Black Male Initiative Program. Since then, we have helped create programs that have been based, have been based on prison to college um, programs where we send young men into local juvenile detention centers, we, where we send faculty and staff administrators who are part of this program into um, local jails and detention centers to work with the young brothers in there to try to create some, some programs and also to create some reentry programs so that when they got out, we were playing our role in decreasing the recidivism rates in the, the nefarious prison industrial complex in America. Beyond that, we have also infiltrated many schools in the area, uh, middle schools as well as elementary schools where we send young men, faculty and administrators as well to mentor youth in these elementary schools such as Greenbelt Elementary School which is located just outside of Washington DC. Within this video you're going to see some of the feedback from some of our members, some of our faithful members and hear what they have to say about the Black Male Initiative program and the role it plays in the broader community. Um, if you're interested in becoming a part of the Black Male Initiative program please contact us. My email is Solomon, that's S-O-L-O-M-O-N at U-M-D dot E-D-U. That's S-O-L-O-M-O-N dot U-M-D dot E-D-U. If you're interested in becoming a part of the program, it doesn't matter where you're at. And also, if you want to start a Black Male Initiative program or a similar program, and we can help provide some kind of logistical support, please contact us, you know, because our goal is to try to create, help create programs like this throughout the U.S., um, programs that are bigger and better. Um, you know, we, we just want to continue to play our role in any way we can in terms of supporting the community. So let's take a look at some of these uh, some of these members and what they have to say about BMI. With a brother from uh, the Black Male Initiative Program at the Nibiru Cultural Center, I just want to ask you, what are some of the benefits that you see from uh, being a part of this organization? Uh, well, uh, the first benefit would be um, brotherhood, um, something that, uh, you know, I definitely need in my life, you know, um, because you know, as as one of the brothers even said earlier this evening, you know, the, like when we graduate high school, we graduate college, and we get out here in the real world, you know, a lot of our close friends and our, our brotherhoods, you know, leave us, you know, because we all go our different paths, you know, and this this right here is, is the most beautiful brotherhood, man, I've found in the D.C. metro area, man. It's, it's encompassing, you know, young professionals, uh, professors like yourself, and, and the college students, you know, where we can all come together, you know, and build on how we can improve, you know, the situation of ourselves and our people, you know, so... That's, that's one of the big benefits, you know. I walk away, you know, very uplifted, you know, by uh, the different contributions, you know, that brothers brothers come with, you know, as far as what they're doing in the communities to make a difference, you know. And um, that's, 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 that's just a little short, short piece. Right on. Thanks a lot, brother. Two, uh, two brothers who are members of the Black Male Initiative here at the Nambura Cultural Center. I just want to ask you guys real quickly, um, what do you find the benefits of this Black Male Initiative program that you're a part of? What are the benefits? Um, I've been coming to the Black Male Initiative program since uh, September of last year. It was the first time I've been introduced to the organization and I've been coming back pretty steadily because the knowledge that I'm gaining here is knowledge and insights and information that I have not been exposed to uh, in many, many years or, or, or in a lot of the different activities in which I'm engaged in. And additionally, it's an opportunity to meet uh, brothers, people of like mind trying to make a difference and that opportunity in and of itself is what drives me to come back on a regular basis. All right. Right. And um, as far as me, Calvin Curtis, um, I've only been to two BMI meetings and honestly I can say that uh, there's not too much that I know right now, but I know that it's, it's uplifting. It's insight. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, there's a whole lot that any man can come through and uh, and actually gain some kind of knowledge, you know, because we all we all need that, and and that's pretty much where, you know, how I feel as as a man, you know, any 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 man should be able to come to BMI and say, hey, look, I learned something today. I don't care if you listen to whatever you listen to, you learn whatever you learn, you did whatever you did. At the end of the day, at seven o'clock, you can come to a BMI meeting and actually learn something. 
you know, because the very first time I came, I didn't I didn't know nothing about what I what I heard, nothing at all, and and that's that's why I'm back again. Right, right on. Well, um, Blackmail Initiative is, is a necessary program on campus, uh, something to facilitate conversation, and outside of that conversation, set forth action and application. Um, you know, we have faculty members, staff, um, students, uh, graduate and undergrad alike, um, just discussing and just showing forth information that, you know, that benefits the community particularly on campus, so when we step off campus, we can set forth and become the teachers and teach those in the communities what's going on here. Um, just a forum, uh, you know, just to uplift um, blacks particularly. Um, we're, a, a, we're a small number on campus versus, say, different demographics, but we're still a sizable amount here, so it's very essential. Here with Dr. Ziegler, the director of the Nibiru Cultural Center and also a longtime BMI member and co-founder of the Black Male Initiative Program. If you could uh, just briefly um, let me know, why do you think the Black Male Initiative Program is a beneficial program for those that it serves, the, uh, the black men as well as the, the broader uh, black community? The BMI program was started in 2005, was the direct result of two students who uh, had a vision to involve uh, administrators like myself and Mr. Solomon Kamajan and later uh, Dr. Joseph Richardson, uh, Dr. Cordell Black and other uh, faculty members on this campus in terms of mentoring them to be successful at the University of Maryland. The uh, disparity among uh, African American males compared to majority students, uh, white students, Latino and Asian students, as far as the retention of them to graduation is, is very, very uh, disproportionate. So the purpose of BMI, the overall arching uh, purpose or reason for BMI is to come up with strategies of academic retention in terms of connecting students with other successful students, with faculty members, uh, with administrators who will serve as role models to help them to graduate. And this is not just the University of Maryland issue, it's a, a nationwide issue which affects uh, higher education throughout the entire United States. So again, the overarching reason for having BMI is, is to support African American males and with that comes the responsibility of working with our overall campus community and the surrounding College Park Maryland communities. Well, I think BMI is a very important program because it enables uh, intergenerational experiences where you've got brothers who are older, elders, you've got brothers who are senior professionals, you've got young brothers, all of whom are struggling to do the same thing, which is to, is to do the right thing, make a contribution to the community. And so by being in each other's presence, you know, we learn from one another. We can share our experiences and inspire younger brothers, and they do the same thing for us. And so I think it's a very important initiative uh, that New Brew does uh, and that nobody else is doing, especially on a campus uh, like this where black males uh, have such challenges uh, to be successful. So it also enables uh, black males to see other successful black males, both academically and professionally. With another member of the Black Male Initiative Program, if you could just tell us what benefits do you think the Black Male Initiative Program has for the community, has for the broader community? Uh, well, it has benefits for students as well as professional working men on, on, on the campus because um, you know, they get a chance to do something that's bigger than their self at their workplace and mentor, you know, a younger individual to do uh, some of the same things. So when you get in the practice of doing those type of things on a campus and at your workplace and seeing younger individuals, you know, take the knowledge that you uh, pass down to them and put, those, put that knowledge in motion, then you're more apt to do that outside of your workplace and in your everyday life. So it's, it's, it's uh, it affects the community without you even really trying to make it affect the community. And that's outside of any um, initiatives that might be set forth in BMI.
to go out into the community and, and, and um, you know, express a willingness to, to be a part of it as opposed to just looking at it and saying this is a problem, that's a problem. We're out there hands on trying to tackle those issues. Two members of Thank BMI, you. I just want to, you guys just came out to the uh, to see uh, Not Just a Game, which is part of the uh, um, documentary movie night series that uh, Black Male Initiative puts on. Just want to get your thoughts on, on you know, the importance of this kind of movie series that BMI does and, and uh, the filming you saw. Uh, clearly it was one of the most informative um, sports movies that I've seen um, and definitely should be uh, used as a teaching tool and, and particularly in urban America, to educate young African Americans and, and whites and Latinos as well on the uh, racial politics of sports and also the exploitative side of sports that we rarely hear about. I believe it's one of the most hobby moves in sports I've ever seen in my life. And having the student body and anybody who's willing to learn have a movie that's also immensely grasping and with a category that we can all connect to as a part of having the knowledge with entertainment is powerful. Do you think it's important that Black Male Initiative does these kind of uh, critical series Absolutely. of films? I think, it's, I think it's very important. I also think that we should continue to do it. Uh, get the word out to more people, not only at the University of Maryland, but in the wider uh, community in Maryland and in Washington, D.C., to come out and see some of these movies and actively engage in the dialogue and the community and find this as well. Thank you. I definitely appreciate the way that being my movies can bring people together, like he said and have everybody talk about a common issue and get everybody's thoughts on it. So at least start a movie and start a revolution that we need.